The operators of Japan's crippled nuclear plant are closer to finding the reason for a spill of radioactive water. They originally thought a tank on the Fukushima Daiichi site overflowed because of a faulty valve. Now they suspect human error. Officials with Tokyo Electric Power Company say about 100 tons of contaminated water leaked from a tank near a reactor. They say it was flowing out on Wednesday and Thursday and spilled onto the ground. Workers found that water contained 240 million becquerels per liter of beta-ray emitting substances, including strontium. That's the highest level detected in any spillage on the site. The water should have gone to a different tank. Company officials initially blamed a valve they thought was broken. Now they say that valve was not faulty, but was open when it should have been closed. And they say another valve that should have been open to send the water to the correct tank was closed. The officials suspect human error. They're trying to figure out who made the mistake and how. Just a minute, don't hang up. Yellow. You'll have to speak up. I'm wearing a towel. Japan's government plans to instruct the operator of the stricken Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant to review its measures to prevent spills and leaks of contaminated water. In the latest incident at the plant, around 100 tons of highly radioactive water spilled from a storage tank last week. Tokyo Electric Power Company officials have been interviewing plant workers to find out why the water spilled. The officials believe someone opened valves that should have been closed. TEPCO needs to review its preventive measures by taking into consideration the tough working environment at the plant. The company also needs to rebuild its organizational structure to prevent similar cases. Suga also said the government will try to ensure that TEPCO implements steps to prevent problems, including those resulting from human error. Japan's nuclear regulators have criticized the plant's operator for failing to prevent the massive leakage. TEPCO officials on Monday told experts of the Nuclear Regulation Authority that the leak occurred because valves that should have been closed were open. This allowed tainted water to enter the tank that overflowed. The officials said workers have not been sufficiently monitoring water levels in the tank. NRA official Toyoshi Fuketa said water gauges, alarms and other devices for preventing leaks were not working. The safety system was supposed to prevent such accidents, but it failed. It's a very serious problem. He requested that the firm take thorough measures to ensure that the devices are fully functional. Another official asked the utility to look into the possibility of human error as workers attaching number plates to the valves may have opened them. After the meeting, managing executive officer Takafumi Anegawa apologized for the accident and said the firm will improve the safety system immediately. He added that the utility must change its corporate culture. You may feel that we didn't do enough, but now we know what the problem is, so we'd like to take control of our safety system as much as possible. The European Union has been restricting imports of food from Japan since the Fukushima nuclear accident. Now officials say they'll relax some of their controls. 
The EU requires radiation checks on food products from Tokyo and nine other prefectures. Officials imposed that requirement in 2011 because they were worried about radiation from the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Staff at the EU's executive body say they'll ease their controls in April. They'll no longer require inspections of any food products from Tokyo and the neighboring prefecture of Kanagawa. And they'll end checks on vegetables and animal products from prefectures other than Fukushima. Still, the officials have new concerns. They'll start demanding inspections of mushrooms and bamboo shoots from the northern prefectures of Akita now, and Japan welcomed the highest number of overseas visitors for the month of January. That was helped by Chinese travelers during the Lunar New Year holidays. <laughs> Officials at the Japan National Tourism Organization estimate more than 940,000 visitors came to Japan last month. That's up over 40% from the same month a year ago. They say the rise is due to a surge in the number of travelers from mainland China and Hong Kong. Visitors from South Korea also rose for the first time in four months. Japan relaxed its visa requirements, and the country is welcoming more people from Southeast Asian nations. The number of travelers from overseas in 2013 topped 10 million for the first time. And there may be some relief for those caught in the nuclear disaster in Fukushima. Residents of a district in the prefecture near the crippled power plant may soon be able to return home. The government has decided to lift an evacuation order for the district almost three years after the nuclear accident. Senior Vice Industry Minister Kazuyoshi Akaba told residents the government will lift the order for part of Miyakoji district in Tamura City. On On April 1st, this would be the first lifting of an evacuation order for the contaminated areas. All areas within 20 kilometers of the Fukushima Daiichi plant have been subject to the order. Decontamination efforts have progressed in the district. Residents there have been able to visit and stay at their homes. We made the decision considering the fact many people want us to lift the order so they can start their lives over as soon as possible. Some residents are urging the Environment Ministry to continue decontamination work. They say radiation levels are still high in some places. Ministry officials say they will respond on a case-by-case case scientists base. have conducted a survey of a fault running beneath a nuclear power plant on the Sea of Japan. In the wake of the 2011 nuclear accident, the government's new regulations ban the installation of nuclear reactors above faults that could shift in the future. Kunihiko Shimazaki of the Nuclear Regulation Authority and four scientists began a two-day inspection of the Shika nuclear plant in Ishikawa Prefecture. They descended into a 40-meter deep pit near the number one reactor and entered a tunnel dug to examine the fault's condition. Shimazaki and the others will try to determine whether the fault under one of the reactors is active. The plant operator has denied the possibility. Restarting the idle reactors at the Shika plant depends on this inspection. NRA officials and scientists also plan to check another fault located 1.4 kilometers east of the plant. The biggest trade deficit ever last month. That since people began keeping comparative uh, records in 1979. The country's imports exceeded exports for a 19th month in a row. Officials at the Finance Ministry say the deficit in January came to about $27.4 billion. 
Exports rose more than 9.5 percent from a year earlier in yen terms. Automakers saw strong demand for cars in the U.S., Europe and China. But Japan spent about 25 percent more on imports led by liquefied natural gas and crude oil. The weaker yen is making fuel imports more expensive. Rising domestic demand ahead of a sales tax hike in April also contributed Young to the Young people sale. in Japan are looking out across Southeast Asia, and they're seeing more and more job opportunities. In 2008, 48,000 Japanese nationals worked at private sector companies in 10 ASEAN countries. By 2012, the number had jumped 30 percent to 63,000. Workers in their 20s and 30s in particular are heading elsewhere for a career change. NHK World's Takafumi Koba reports from Bangkok. This group of young Japanese people is having a party in Thailand's capital, Bangkok. All of them came to Southeast Asia in the hopes of gaining work experience. I'm working in Jakarta. I have a job in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. They are looking for a chance to test their abilities in a fast-growing region. Displacement company in Bangkok helps Japanese people find jobs with local businesses. Many young Japanese people have been registering with the firm. The number has nearly doubled in the past five years. The number of companies looking for Japanese workers is also increasing. The firm received about 500 job notices last year. Thank you. One reason for the rise is not only major Japanese companies, but also smaller firms are doing business here. This Thai company conducts market research and creates websites for Japanese businesses. Managers recently hired two employees from Japan. Our clients are looking for services that meet Japanese standards of quality. So there is no way we can grow without hiring more workers from Japan. Tomorrow, new campaign start. Manami Watanabe joined the company last February. She had previously worked at the call center in Tokyo. She relocated to Bangkok in the hopes of building her career overseas. Now she leads a team of Thai staff to promote marketing strategies to clients. This experience is really valuable. Other people my age in Japan wouldn't be able to get this kind of job. On this day, she has a meeting with representatives of a Japanese stationery maker. So, in my idea, they asked her for help in making their Facebook page more appealing. So I think better to put focus on Sakura version instead of instead of a guy. The new design coming soon. She advised them to brand their products with a strong Japanese identity. Okay. For example, if right right character. She also described to me the idea of uh, Japanese to implement this idea with the Thai Facebook page. So the idea that she, she gave us also uh, new to me. I feel deep responsibility because clients trust us to come up with ideas and give them direction. It's really satisfying when they accept our proposals. The success of the Japanese economy has long depended on companies taking advantage of markets overseas. Now, young people from Japan are finding their own success in foreign countries. Takahumi Koba, NHK World, Bangkok. We imagine that in the infinite universes parallel to this one, you are still staring dumbfounded at this video.